Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a video. Like my last video was my Ipsy bag. That's because I did it so late in the month and I'm already doing another Ipsy bag video. But this isn't going to be the only video that I'm uploading this past week. So right now it is Friday and I should have another video up sometime this weekend. I'm going to do a makeup look because I haven't done any makeup looks. I've only done like foundation type of stuff and I need to start doing more eyeshadows eyeshadow looks and stuff, I've just, I made my YouTube channel at a very <laughs> busy time in my life, so I haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of other videos, but ipsy bag videos, you know, it's not a lot. So I know in my last video I was kind of more informational about, in, about, the, about the stuff, like, you know, what the full prices were, if they were sample sized and stuff like that, but this one, I don't because I want to upload this video as fast as possible, but I will put everything down in the description bar. So this is actually, I don't think I have the little card. You know how it usually comes with the card? Actually, I might have it. Do I? I do have it. It was in my trash. Okay, so this month's theme was Face, Fas Face Fashion by Ipsy. And it's, ooh, it's kind of like a bronzy, golden goddess look. Like, look how beautiful. Okay, it says, smokier, deeper, richer, this September, leave the past behind and take a leap into fall with a glam bag made to inspire the perfect transition from summertime casual to autumn elegance. And that is definitely true because I feel like all the color schemes in this month's bag kind of go with that transition into summer to fall, but it's not like too harsh, like oranges and stuff and like bronzy looks pretty much. But that's what the card looks like. And this is probably... This is probably my favorite bag that I've ever gotten only because it's gold. And it's like a bronzy gold. And gold is like my favorite type of jewelry is gold jewelry, not silver. Why is my hair looking like this? This is my my hair has been in a bun all day type of hair. And then like I was having like this weird crease so I just put a headband on and I was just like let me make my video real quick so I don't have a five head. Anyways, this is what the bag looks like. And okay, so the first thing... This is one thing that I was really excited about getting, is this Ipsy NYX um, eyeshadow little trio, and it doesn't say which ooh, it doesn't say which colors it is, but here are all the colors. Now, I don't use black eyeshadow a lot. Like I use really I use a lot of dark eyeshadows, but I don't usually use black eyeshadows. But let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Okay, so these are, I okay, so I like these, the darkest one, but my favorite is the lightest one over here. I can't even see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> my favorite is this lightest one right here because it's like, but I feel like the lightest one, it's kind of a gold, but you could definitely use it when the summertime comes back around, you could use it because it's like a really bronzy gold, you could use that as a highlighter, you know, like a brow highlight, but at the same time, it's a really... I don't know. And the packaging, I think the packaging is cute because the little opening, you see it, it's like, it's a bow. That is so adorable. I love that. It's a bow. Okay, so the next thing that I got in her, actually, and one more thing, I have not used this yet. I haven't used it at all yet. Everything else in here, I've used everything but one more thing in here. So I haven't used this yet. This I have used. This is the Vas... Oh, I can't talk. The Vasanity? Vasanity Brighten Up. Okay, my camera just like totally died right now. Anyways, this is the Vasanti Brighten Up Enzymic, Enzymic Face Rejuvenator. Exfoliating cleanser enriched with papaya, microcrystals, and aloe. Aloe means aloe vera. And I did use this, and it is different. Like the exfoliating, the you know, the little exfoliators. It is a different type of texture than a regular face exfoliator. When you're using regular face exfoliators, the little beads that they have in there, it's usually they're usually fairly big. This, the exfoliators are the you know little beads. They're like they're like super super fine, and I feel like it works better. It works better to get in, you know, in between those nose and those creases into your face. And I like it. And it didn't seem... It seemed like a good cleanser. I don't know if it brightens up my skin and I haven't used it enough. But so far I like it. It didn't break me out. My skin had a nice feel after. My skin was soft. It didn't become too dry. And I seem to like it. I've only used it two times. But, you know, I can totally update you guys on that. But here is what it looks like. But that's what it looks like. And... It's pretty nice. I like it. So, that is, 
The second thing I have in here is this cream blush by Ash. I think. No, I think that's the I think that's the name of it. Like the shade color. But I don't know. Natural and organic. I can't even pronounce the like does anyone know? See like the sign in there? It's like E E. I don't know what brand that is. But I did swatch this and it looked so pretty. And the thing is, is I really don't wear blush that much. So, you know, if anyone that goes to my school wants this blush, it's really nice. And I will totally give it to you because I really, I don't wear blush. Let me just swatch this for you guys because it is super smooth. You barely, like, yeah, that's that true color. But it's actually a little bit more pink than it's coming up on camera right now. But yeah, and it's a pretty good amount. Like, for blush, this will... For blush, this will last you a long time. And even though it looks really small, for like blush, this is a lot. It's a lot. And I actually haven't tried that yet. I just swatched it. I've only put my finger in it, and that's about it. Okay, so the next thing I have here is this Bayberry Naturals Rose Hip and Hibiscus Moisturizers. And it says, no sulfates, no parabens, no... I don't know that word. No artificial fragrance or dyes, which is good. And it really, like, the smell of it, it doesn't smell like anything. Like, maybe it's just my allergies, but... Like, it has a smell, but it doesn't smell like anything. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. Okay, but... And it's 81% organic and 100% vegan. And I actually like it, but the thing is, I used it... I only used this once, and I woke up, and I had new pimples like three new pimples and I don't know if it was because of this or you know sometimes no matter I could like totally be doing the same face routine for like two weeks straight and I'll just wake up with pimples one morning so I don't know if it was that or if my skin had a reaction to this I'm gonna have to use it again and find out and let me tell you this did leave my face really soft and it's a really light moisturizer something that you can use in the morning before you put on your makeup and it's not greasy or anything and yeah, and every and I've read the ingredients and everything is completely natural. Like this is like legit organic stuff. So I would recommend this, but I'm going to try it again and I will update you guys in my next video how my skin is doing with that because I don't know if it was this or if I just decided to break out that more. Yet or no. Okay, and the last thing is this Tristique mini matte lip crayon and that is what I have on my lips as of right now it is a really nice nude now see the color that it has right here color that it has it doesn't come out on the lips that way on my lips I have naturally like pink colored lips like some people don't have that much lip color I already have an intense natural lip color and this comes out it's like um it's a really nice nude for me and it comes off with kind of like an orangey brown undertone and it looks super super nice and this is the this is the second Tristique thing that I've gotten what's the other thing that I got? I'm gonna look I really don't know I've gotten something else that was Tristique and I think it was I think it was an eyeshadow crayon yeah yeah that's what it was it was an eyeshadow crayon but I I have no idea where it is, but it's okay because I really didn't use it. I didn't like, I wasn't really into that. I think it, I told you guys in that video, but I really wasn't into that, that crayon. Like, it just did not work for me at all. Like, it didn't blend very well. But this, I like it. I like the color and the consistency. The formula is really nice. The only thing I dislike about this is it faded on me in the ugliest way possible. Let me tell you, you know how usually when you wear lip lipstick sometimes and it'll wear off in the center of your lips throughout the day this one did not do that mm -mm. no it faded around the outside of my lips and it left like this dry patch on the center of my lips and I would sit there and scratch my lips and I could not get it off I had to wait until I took my makeup off at the end of the day to get this off like it just stayed there and it crusted around the center of my lips and it faded on me in the ugliest way but I am still wearing it because the shade is like bomb.com and I just happened totally dropped it right now. And I just really happen to like this color. Like, it's like a really nice color. But, I know this video was super short, but, you know, it's usually because I'm describing everything that I got, and also usually I'm telling you guys all the information, like where you can buy it, if you have to get it online, how much the full size is, if it is or isn't full size, 
and that type of stuff, but I didn't have the time to do that only because I wanted to get this video up as soon as possible. I've already been delayed. It's already like almost the middle of the month and I needed to get this video up. What do you want? Unless it's baby, I'm not answering. But anyways. Anyways. <laughs> anyways, um, my favorite part probably was this bag and these two things. Even though I have a problem with this, even though it faded on me really ugly, still my two favorite things was the eyeshadow and the lip color. But, oh, I should swatch the lip color for you guys. Okay, this is the lip color right up here. Uh, so I don't know if I'm pointing at it or not. <laughs> that is the lip color right there, and it's not coming off very well on camera, but it looks kind of pinky, like in the little tube but it comes off more like an orangey brown but it's not like a, an in, it's not like a super intense orange it's like a brick orangey brown it's really nice but anyways um the next look i think i'm going to do is something with my naked or my naked 3 palette i recently was given a naked palette by my counselor so if you those girls or guys that watch my video that go to my school you guys probably know miss kruger Okay, you know, a white lady, you know, with black black hair. So she calls me into the counseling office, right? And I'm like, okay, I got in trouble, I have bad grades, like something's happening, like I'm in deep shit, right? So I walk in there and she's like, do you have any of the naked palettes? And I was like, yeah, I have the naked three. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, what is she talking about? Like, what's going to happen right now? And she turns her, and she's like, and she's like, well, I was cleaning out my makeup stuff and I have my naked palette and I haven't used it. And you told me that you have a YouTube channel. And I looked at her and I was like, something good is about to happen. And she turns around and, let me grab it, and she pulls out her Naked palette. Now it looks kind of worn down, right? No, let me tell you, the only color that she used in here was this one. Everything else, basically she just dipped her finger in it. Like, it's like, all the shadows are there. It's like, it might as well be brand new. So shout out to my counselor for giving me the Naked palette. Because all the Naked palettes, they're about, what are they? They're like $55, right? So, and she gave this to me, like, my my school counselor. Come on. And that's, ju that's just off of her remembering that I have a YouTube channel. Like, how cool is that? Like, that's pretty cool. And we're not even close like that. Like, I haven't talked to her like that or anything. So I just thought that was really nice of her. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. Especially to the people that go to Oak Grove with me, that go to school with me. You guys know, like, it's kind of weird, right? Like, a counselor calls you in to whatever. But yeah, that's all. I had... I have, um, hopefully my next videos will be with one of my naked palettes, or just a whole full face makeup look, because I need to start doing some more makeup looks, because that's what this whole channel is supposed to be about, I just haven't had the time. And I need to figure out how to put music in my videos and voiceovers. I haven't figured that out yet, but I will, because I have good editing software. So, I hope you guys like the video, and I will see you later. Bye! It's so hot in my room. <sighs> Baby needs to get back from practice. Babe, come back from practice. Actually, his practice ended at 5. It was supposed to end at 5 and now it's 6. What you doing? What is up with this weird lighting right now?